Hello and welcome back to my TechIt tutorial and here we are in episode 3 and today we're going to have a look at pipes and pipe basics. So realistically we're going to start by having a look at each of the recipes for each of the pipes. Now they're all very simple, they're basically a material next to or surrounded, surrounding a piece of glass. So we can get 8 wooden pipes for our wood, cobblestone around the glass is cobblestone pipes stone around the glass is stone pipes iron around the glass is iron pipes gold around the glass is gold pipes and diamonds around is diamond pipes now these pipes each have a different function except for the cobble and the stone pipes the only real realistic, realistic reason to use these is that they will not join with each other so you cannot join a stone pipe to a cobblestone pipe thus allowing you to run pipes side by side around your warehouse house whatever it may be so that's what they're very useful for is allowing you to have two pipes st sitting side by side so if we grab some basics what we'll need from our supply closet and we'll start having a look at putting together so here we have a chest full of some pipes what we need to do is put down a wooden pipe and then run a number of pipes to a destination so this is an empty chest once we have our destination we then simply need to power the wooden pipe using a redstone engine if you remember from the previous episode and that will start the transfer of items along the pipe network and it will keep picking them out and it always picks out from the, the inventory so it starts at the top left and works its way through and it will pass items all the way along so as I mentioned with the other types of pipe if we had another chest here and another chest here and we put down another wooden pipe now these by default don't connect to each other and then we have a stone pipe all the way along we could very easily borrow 64 of these put another redstone engine up here power that and it will start to transfer items along the second pipe but they won't obviously interlink with each other so that's the the purpose of the different types of pipe okay Oops. So let's say we had in this particular path, if I take each of these out, a lot of different items. And we want to get them from here to here as fast as possible. So to get there as fast as possible, what we need to do is use the gold transport pipe. So the gold transport pipe allows anything that's going through to get there even faster. So we switch back on again now. When it pumps out the first item, it'll hit the gold pipe and it'll get accelerated. And see, it'll speed up into that chest, down the rest of the network. Now, the number of pipes you have in a row indicates how fast it will go. So that's what we have this little setup for here. So we have a run here of pipes, and we only have two gold pipes versus none. So in each of these chests, we have a single stone block. And the idea behind this is to demonstrate how much faster the gold pipes are. If we switch on both of these redstone engines, you'll see that it will eject the piece of stone at the same time from each. And then we'll have a race to see how far and how fast it gets there. Every single gold pipe you put it through accelerates it further. As you can see, our gold pipe has won so comfortably that it's not even funny. I've probably got enough time to put this back in here and let it fire it out at least two more times before it will catch up. So we could put another gold pipe in here and make it three and it'll accelerate even faster. So it'll go faster, faster again, and then faster again. So the number of gold pipes that you have indicate how fast it accelerates it. In this case, it launches it for miles. So gold pipes are extremely useful once you have the resources available to use them because you can put a couple of them together and massively accelerate the speed of your network. The next pipe that we can have a look at, I guess, is the iron pipe and the purpose of the iron pipe. So let's say we had two chests of resources and we wanted to combine these resources together into one chest so that's the purpose of the path now obviously if i was to use all of the same pipe like this and then turn both of these on what will happen is when an item arrives at the junction it picks randomly which way it goes so sometimes it'll go that way and sometimes it'll go that way so it could go up it could go right it could go left there you go, so it's going back this way, which is not helpful. That's not what we want to be able to do. So it's not going to give us the results that we want. 
So what we would do is in this network, we would place down an iron pipe. Now we're going to need a wrench for this. So let's quickly grab a wrench. We shouldn't need any more wooden pipes, but knowing my luck, I probably will. And when we grab the wrench, if we hit the iron pipe with the wrench, you see a little arrow direction pops up. Basically, that indicates which way the outflow will occur from this pipe, if you forget the one that was already in there once. So now, when anything arrives at this junction, it will be told to transfer forward in this direction. So that means we can join two or three or four, if we need to, or five even pipes together, using iron pipes to help direct the flow. Okay, so now everything's being pushed into this chest. Okay. The next test then is what if we wanted to do the reverse? What if we had a load of stuff in here and we wanted to automatically sort it between two destinations? So that's where the diamond pipe comes into play. The purpose of the diamond pipe is to allow you to select the direction. So we put some cobblestone here. So we have a yellow and we have a white out. So if we click on the um, click on the pipe without holding another pipe, it opens an interface. And each of these colours corresponds to a side. So if I tell it that I want the white to be dirt, and I think it was yellow to be cobble, white and yellow, we can take everything out of here just to prove the point. If we turn this pump on now, it's going to start pumping out each of these different resources. And when it hits the diamond pipe, the diamond pipe will sort it. So it's sending the dirt up to the white, and it's sending the cobble along the yellow. And it will continue to do that as it moves through each of these resources. And it's not just doing it 50-50, so it's not just getting lucky because of the order. So I'm going to throw two dirt through it at the moment in the next instance. And you'll see that they'll both go up. So again, this allows you to start building some sort of sorting mechanism into your piping network, especially once you've got a quarry going and you've got a lot of resources coming in. You're probably going to want to separate things like dirt and gravel and sand and cobble and anything else you don't want into a separate chest, allowing you to recycle it very quickly. And then you're going to want to keep things like your ores, maybe heading towards furnaces and pulverizers and all sorts of useful things. So that's the very basic introduction to pipes and the purpose of the pipes within TechIt to help you transfer items between different areas. So I hope you've enjoyed the introduction to pipes. In the next episode, we'll have a look at a bit more of an advanced overview of the remaining pipes. So we've got a sandstone pipe, we've got an emerald pipe, we've got a void pipe, we've got a distribution pipe. These are all more complex pipes to help us do more complex things within our network. Hope you've enjoyed the introduction to pipes. Hope you're enjoying the tutorial series. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now, guys.